Hey there, in this video we're going to install the latest version of CheerStack using Docker. This time I'll be installing a Raspberry Pi, but feel free to follow along of any system that supports Docker. So before we begin, make sure you have both Docker and Git installed in your machine. And the first step we are going to do is go to the CheerStack Docker repository and clone this repository in your machine. So let me clone git clone this repository and once the repository is cloned navigate into the cheer stack docker folder and then we are looking for the docker compose file so let me open this file Alright, so this step is crucial because we need to configure the frequency plan we'll be using. In my case, since I am in Peru, I'll be using the 915 frequency. However, if you are in the region where the default frequency is A6A, so you can skip this step. And also, if you want to know what is the frequency plan for your country, you can go to this page uh, from the Things Network and checking here what is your country and what is the frequency plan that your country is using so first let me modify the frequency here in the docker compose file i will use the us915 zero and also here And uh, also here. All right. So says the changes, and then we can run Docker Compose up. Alright guys, so in order to check if CheerStack is running or not, so you can put in here in your terminal docker ps and you will see all the containers that is running in your docker. For example, we have CheerStack REST API, another container that has CheerStack gateway, uh, the main version of CheerStack, and also the Postgres, the Redis, the Mosquito. So another way we can check if Cheerstack is running is go to the admin website page from Cheerstack. So in order to do that, we need to know what is the AP address uh, we have. For example, in my case, I have this AP address. Let me copy and paste here and add this port 8080. And you will find the Chirstat website admin applications. So the username by default is admin and also the password admit. You can change later with your preference. And here we are. So we have running our own Chirstack in our container in Docker. Okay guys, so once we have our Chirstack running, so we are going to create a new gateway uh, in order to do that go to the sidebar click on gateway click on add gateway here and i will use my think not gateway and here in the gateway id i will use the id for my gateway for example this is my configuration for my gateway i will use this gateway ui let me copy and paste here and also taking account of in the server address, we are using our uh, Cheerstack IP address. Okay, save the changes and then submit this application. After that, um, 
let me update the page or probably it will be better if I turn off and turn on my gateway okay guys so after turn off I turn on my gateway so just to say that my gateway is online as you can see here uh, my gateway is using the region 915 and um, then the next step will be creating a new application so let's create it I will put my app here and then I will create a new profile I will use the profile my new profile oh let's put my profile I will use my region that is 915 and I will put all as a default and click on submit after you create your device profile you are able to create a new device with your application so click on add device I will use uh, my ESP32 LoRa uh, device uh, let me copy and paste my dev UI and also I will use the profile that we already created click on submit and also we need to um, put in here the application key this is from your device and click on submit all right and then well let me turn on my ESP32 device in order to send okay so we are receiving some data all right guys as you can see we are already receiving data from our sensor in cheer stack and um, from here on what we do next depends on where we want to send the data if you want to send the data to things for Otago, you might need to set an integration or create a webhook but i think this is not for now just knowing that our chista is working and um, Probably if you like to see how to connect our sensor to things for uh, maybe I can create another video about it. All right, friends, that's all for this video and see you next time. Bye bye.